The Lion King franchise is one I'm sure we're all very familiar with and have fond memories of watching and singing along with the musical numbers. So how can we possibly compare the first two movies and crown one of them as a winner? Well, let's start off with who has the better story. The Lion King is a 1994 Disney classic movie about a young lion named Simba and his journey in following his given path as the new king of his pride after the passing of his father. Whereas The Lion King 2, which was made four years later, is about the events taking place after the original movie, where we now see the daughter of Simba dealing with the challenge of finding love with an outsider who is the son of another pride's vengeful leader. Now, being that the original Lion King was first, people are probably expecting me to say it's ultimately the better one. And actually, as far as story, I think the first one takes the cake. If not for its emotional scenes, but also its ability to make you feel all kinds of feelings. I mean, even throughout the film, from the sad moments to the cheerful moments, this movie is not afraid to take a serious tone. And it's definitely not afraid to make you cry at any given time either. Not to say the second movie doesn't have sad or heartwarming moments, but I feel that those few moments are not quite as impactful the originals were. So to kick things off, round one goes to, you guessed it, The Lion King. Now the next round is what really makes the movie, the beats in the background. Who has the better soundtrack? And I feel I'm going to rile some people up for saying this, but I actually prefer the second movie's soundtrack a little more. Now that's not to say that the first movie doesn't have some amazing vocals and of course notable tracks that really make the scene. But in my opinion, the second movie's musical numbers are just more memorable. And don't get me wrong, the first movie's songs are very cinematic and well done. But I can't deny the awesome soundtrack that the second movie put out and the amount of quality they were able to do for a Disney sequel. So yes, as far as musical numbers and soundtrack, I'd have to give this one to the sequel. Round 2 goes to Simba's Pride. Now, as far as the love story, Lion King and Lion King 2 both have their merits. However, I think Lion King 2 takes more time as far as development. And while re-watching both these movies, though there is a side love story in the original, it's not quite as prevalent in the first one as it is in the second. In the first movie, Nala and Simba don't spend all that much time together to let their romance grow. However, in the second one, Kovu and Kiara are given time to develop a friendship and later a romance. But granted, this is more of a Romeo and Juliet thing versus the original that was more based off of Hamlet. All in all, I believe as far as romance, the second one takes the cake. Round 3 goes to Lion King 2. The next thing you need to ramp up a good story is a good villain. Because as the saying always goes... Now in this round, we're comparing two villains from the same pride. First up, we have Scar, the vengeful younger brother of Mufasa who believes he has been robbed of his throne and will do nothing short of murder to get it back. As far as in the sequel, we have Zira, a previous follower of Scar's who plans to avenge his death by taking over Pride Rock for herself and her pride as she pushes Kovu to follow in Scar's footprint. Now, as you can see, both these villains have the same sort of goal in the end, basically to rule over Pride Rock's dwellers. However, I feel like Scar is a little more interesting as a villain character, mainly due to his manipulative nature and his evil personality that isn't just based off of pure hate or dislike, but revenge and pride. Whereas Zero's motives are more based on hate and wanting to get revenge for being outcasted and turned away from. So ultimately, round four goes to the original. Now, of course, we can't talk about a Disney Pixar movie without talking about the stunning animation style. Now, before I tell you the winner, I think we need to appreciate some things. One of which being that although Lion King came out in 1994 and was the first of its franchise, it's really surprising to me how well the animation has, has stood up, even compared to today's standards. However, the second movie does pretty good work as well, considering it was made as a Disney sequel and a straight-to-VHS sequel nonetheless. But all in all, it was a fair race to the finish, and oh, screw it, we all know who the winner is. So let's just crown that victor and get those credits rolling.